AI at Mercari. Mercari operates a marketplace. In order for more buyers to find the products that they are looking for, it is crucial that the correct data of the items are present. For example, suppose a buyer is looking for a pair of women's leather pumps in a light brown color, size 9 inches, and made by a certain brand. In order for the buyer to be able to search for a matching product, the above information must be correctly associated with the item in the marketplace. However, unlike a real store whose sole purpose is to sell products, Mercari is a marketplace where ordinary people can list their items to be sold. It is possible that the user simply decides not to fill this information, only to find out that their item has a hard time finding a buyer, because it just does not show up on search results. The app could certainly force the user to fill in this information when they try to list their items. However, as you can imagine, it is quite a tedious task to pull up the name, brand, color, size, serial numbers, etc. when you are about to list an item. If the seller kept the original packaging, it may be possible to read the barcode or serial number that comes with the item. But this would mean that Mercari would have to carry the entire catalog of items available in the world. It could also be the case that the original packaging or the serial number have been lost. So this is not an option. Without some way to assist the seller, they would be left to their own devices to find this information. Sometimes they would have to pull it out of some faint memory. There could be a product that has many variations, such as smartphone models. Or some specific details might be hard to figure out unless you already know the answer, such as the specific coloring scheme of the product. Wouldn't it be great if much of this information could be inferred from the photograph of your item? The Listing Quality Machine Learning Team is applying AI technology to help people enter the information required when listing items on Mercari and to make the listing process easier for everyone. The Mercari app can infer many of the information about items that are about to be listed on the marketplace using the photograph that you take, many times detecting exactly what the product is so that you do not have to fill in much of the information yourself. First, we need to know the difference between a traditional e-commerce website and a marketplace like Mercari. In a traditional e-commerce site, the seller uses the information obtained from the catalog provided by the manufacturer. This means that normally an e-commerce site is able to include all details of an item on their website, and the information is usually very accurate. On the other hand, in a marketplace like Mercari, the sellers are individuals who sell items that they own. Items may lack serial numbers, the seller may not remember the exact specifications, and it could even be a one-off custom-made item. This gets even more interesting in Mercari's case. Not only do we deal with an extremely broad range of products, sellers constantly list new items that we have never seen before. This means that we need to keep adapting to these new products. And finally, Mercari must deal with more than a million new item listings every day. When all of this is put together, it becomes extremely challenging to infer information about an item from a piece of photograph. And this is why we use machine learning to make this possible. Like any other machine learning application, we need to extract features from the information that the seller has provided us. The feature extraction can be broadly categorized into two steps. One is to extract the unique features as vectors from an item photo and create models. The other is to store and manage the feature vectors in a searchable database. We use a convolutional neural network or CNN model such as MobileNet to create a feature extractor. The goal of this model is to detect similar items from a vast catalog of user-supplied photographs. 
We use the photos and the user-supplied listing data to train the models. It is impractical to use the entire set of item listing photos and data, so we use a subset that accurately represents the entire data set available in Mercari. The sampling is important, as the types of items that are listed could vary depending on various conditions. For example, during Halloween and Christmas season, we see an increase in items related to pumpkins or Santa Claus. We must sample the data carefully such that these items do not skew the training results. It is theoretically possible to train models to be extremely accurate, but it would take longer to perform computations to extract features and would also take longer to compare features when searching. Therefore, it is important to balance accuracy and other factors such as input size and computation speed when designing models. As previously noted, we use lightweight models such as MobileNet to reduce the amount of required resources so that our computations do not necessarily require the use of GPUs and can be computed using CPU. We are also working with self-supervised learning to make the models more efficient. Once we have a model, we use the model to populate an index database to allow searching for item listings in Mercari. This database is what connects a photo to its product information. Similar to the training, we sample the recent item listings and create a database. This database is constantly being updated so that when new products are uploaded, we can make them available to the users. When creating the database, we also need to compute and compare the feature vectors that we extracted from the photos to find items that are similar. Since the amount of data that must be processed is enormous, even when the data set has been reduced via sampling, we must consider the amount of time that these computations require. We use the approximately nearest neighbor algorithm to make these computations more efficient. Using the database, we can finally search for similar products and infer the information of the items from the search results using only a piece of photograph that was uploaded to Mercari. The actual flow when listing an item looks like the following. First, the seller takes a photograph of the item that they want to sell. When the photo is sent to the server, the feature vectors are extracted. Next, we look for an item in the index database that has the same or similar features as the photo the seller uploaded. If a single similar item exists, the information from that item will be used to pre-fill the listing information. If there are multiple similar items, we collect information for all candidates and infer the information that most resembles the uploaded photo. If we happen to know the actual catalog data, which we sometimes do, we would be able to provide even more accurate data in this step. As a special case, there are specific products that have specialized models which are used instead of the index database to search for similar items. For example, we should be able to determine exactly what the item is for products such as trading cards. In this case, once we deduce the item category, we use a specific submodel to predict what the item is. Finally, this information is returned to the seller, who can review and make final adjustments before submitting the listing. The seller is spared from having to enter all the information manually, and thus more sellers would be able to list their items in the marketplace. This was one of the many ways that Mercari uses AI technology to make buying and selling easier. There are ongoing projects to infer more accurate data by utilizing data other than the photo. If you are interested in this kind of initiative by the AI team at Mercari, please don't hesitate to contact us from the link in the details. We are actively looking for people who can work with us to develop these features and to take on future challenges.